Hi, it's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides, and we're down here at Chelmsford City Racecourse with Andrew Griffiths. Now, Andrew's looking after the PR for Tote Pool for the launch tomorrow, Andrew. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. I'm sort of here keeping the. Uh, we've got a lot of press coming tomorrow, as you imagine, we have a lot of press interest. It's a brand new racecourse for the first. The first new racecourse in Britain for a long, long time. I haven't raced here since 2008. You get horses back on the track. We've got a fantastic new facility behind us, a new grandstand, and, and everyone's been. Been really, really interested. They all want to get involved, so we've got all the national papers here tomorrow. Lots of interest. So I've just got to try and keep more happy, well fed, and well watered. <laughs> and that's uh, hopefully the Wi-Fi will work. Yeah. Okay. So the decision really was to have a soft launch tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I think, um, like I say, this is brand new. There's a lot of things here that aren't quite finished. We've got a ticket hall which isn't quite finished. Yeah. We've got to test all the systems. A lot of it's sort of brand spanking new. So we need to check everything. We need the ticketing exactly yeah, yeah. and selling it on the website. So. It's a gradual process, we're going to go bit by bit, build on it with each meter, and then hopefully in a few weeks' time it will be open to the public, and then we can have a real grand opening, and that will be fantastic. Yeah, there's been a big investment here, hasn't there, Chuck? Huge, yeah, yeah. amazing amount of money. Yeah. Sort of £25 million, pounds, I think, yeah. Yeah. we're knocking in at, which is just incredible. And then you look around the place, there's still a few things to be done, but you can really see the nuts and bolts of it are fantastic. I've been around the grandstand a few times, probably the first time yesterday, and I didn't realise quite how good it was going to be. I think it's absolutely incredible. This is eventually. That grandstand behind us will be a hospitality meeting. We'll have something even better on, on the far side, side yeah. which is just going to be incredible. It'll be the best all weather facility in the country. We'll be up there with many of the big tracks in the country, which just need turf racing, new market, yeah. new relay sort of places. So, yeah, there are big plans here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even a turf track. And even a turf track. Well, this could be a sort of Breeders' Cup type venue in the venue. future, sort of Santa yeah. Anita style. I mean, it's very tight. Yeah. yeah it's got it really sort of sim similarities about it. We've got the lights. I mean, the scenery around is probably not quite as spectacular as Santa Anita with the yeah, mountains. With the, the mountains in the background. But, yeah. uh, and the weather's maybe not quite as good. But it could be in the we've, got, we've got sort of the basis is there. You know, we have elements there. And yeah, I think this place could be spectacular one day. It's going to yeah. be, um, it's a really exciting project and it's great to be a part of it. No, I agree. I think, uh, and the draw, as I say, the draw from Newmarket, from, you've got the London, the big draw of London as well. Yeah. Um, I think crowd sizes are just going to swell and swell here. I can I see it being a very popular so course. much potential. Um, London, you've got this is the only race course in Essex, you've got mm. big towns nearby, mm -hmm. you've got the good horses, which is key for mm. the new market. Yeah, this absolutely. is going to be the easiest place for trainers like Stout, Godolphin. Yeah. They just want to have a spin in a maiden and they've got a choice between going down to New Rivers or Lingfield or Kempton or just popping down the road here. Yeah, they're going to come here. So the horses are there, the facilities are there, mm. we've got the food, we've got the alcohol, so hopefully all, all bases are covered. And I think as we've seen with uh, with Lingfield as well, you know, the, the big northern big northern yeah, trainers yeah. like Mark Johnson's yeah. people like that will send their horses down. Yeah, there, absolutely. Well. And um, you know, Mark Johnson's doing a lot more for Godolphin nowadays, he's doing a lot more with their juveniles and I think we'll have plenty of maiden races here. And the great thing about this course is as a track, it's, I didn't realise it was so flat. I mean, it's going to be the fairest track all weather-wise. There's no uppers and downs, there's no great inclines anywhere, there's nice sweeping bends. So, and it's so wide, isn't and it? And it's well, so wide. I mean, there's yeah. really not going to be any excuses for horses that are not going to handle the track. So if you're a trainer or an owner and you want somewhere where the chances are your horse is going to run its best race, then I think really this, this could be the place to run. Yeah, you know, I, I had a walk around and I must admit, uh, unlike um, Wolverhampton, which is such a tight little mm -hmm. track, I thought this was going to be very fair, very galloping. There wasn't much bias from any of the starts. I didn't think maybe the five furlong might yeah. be straight to that bottom bend. Might, you might see a, the lower numbers. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think that's fair enough on, a, on these little sort of bends. Yeah. They're all bend tracks, so you're going to get a little bit of a bias in mm -hmm. some distance. But they're also building a new seven furlong shoot. That's in the plans as well. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Like as well. I think yeah, that's yeah. a similar sort of shoot like that. So, um, yeah, so yeah, and then you've got a good two furlong wide finishing straight, haven't you? So yeah. Even if you get in trouble on the bends, you've got There's plenty, plenty of, of space if you're in trouble. If you're having a nightmare as a jockey, I think you can. Uh, the horse out somewhere you won't be too trapped so yeah fingers crossed that's great. too many bands <laughs> that's right and what we'll do we'll finish that here and then let's go on to a bit about the betting here yep, We've talked a little bit about the launch tomorrow here in Chelmsford City, about the investment and the development that's been put in here. Obviously people are going to want to know about the betting facilities here, being a, a tote pool and bet Fred predominant course here. How do you think it's really improved the betting experience that people are going to have here? Yeah, it's certainly different, it's certainly new. I think it's very much, um, my boss Fred Dome, he's very much involved here. So when you're around in the, in the facility, in the new grandstand, can't go too far without seeing Betfred or Topol windows. And the different thing at Chelford City compared to other race courses around the country is the, 
bet, the betting shop isn't separate from tote pool. So if you go to any betting window here, yeah. you can place your tote bets, you can place your uh, fixed odds bets. So you yeah. can have a jackpot, then have a lucky 15, have a win bet, and then have a place bet possibly on the all tote, in all in one place. So you don't have to mess about, think about new things. The staff will be totally clued up on the tote bets yeah. and the fixed odds bets if you're a newcomer. Yeah. So hopefully I think we're trying to get all bases covered in one stop, like a one-stop shop mm -hmm. for betting at Chelsea City, and that hopefully is going to make things easier for punters. Because people are becoming a lot wiser now, aren't they, with play spots and things mm -hmm. like that. I think the education that people have had have made it more of a natural thing. And yeah. certainly with football hackers and things like that, I think people have looked more at exotic bets now as a way of being involved all day without a huge investment. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's the sort of the USP of the play spot on the jackpot, as you get, you can be entertained with it mm -hmm. throughout the whole meeting. And it's only going to cost you £2 rather than fishing out two quid for every race. Every single so you have it, so you're on a losing streak and think, oh, I've done that. Yeah. You can just have that two pound play spot, hopefully get a horse play lead, and win. No. We can get a big win at the end of the night. And uh, yeah, the play spot's like one of our most, well, it probably is the most popular bet in racing, which has been really flying recently. A big meeting. It'll be interesting to see how successful it, here, it is here at Chelmsford City because the field size is, is up to 16, so hopefully, we're going to get big fields and that lends itself to play spots. Play spots. You get more money going into the pools and the races, course, yeah. yeah. A more competitive, same with the jackpot, that could be really good here if we get six sort of decent double figure fields so um yeah and we'll eventually if we have saturday afternoon meetings on channel four we'll have scoop six legs so will there be, as well there'll be scoop six legs i was going to ask about that yeah i think that's definitely in the pipeline we're going to be putting on good racing here with good prize money and eventually saturday afternoon will be when we want to have meetings when you get the most exposure and that's what that's the kind of races you put in the scoop six competitive good quality on the TV. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the actual betting hall itself, as you've touched on, you can place all your bets in one place, but the video wall was very impressive, I thought, and we talked yeah. about this, but I thought, you know, you've got everything there. You've got odds for different events. You even had Greyhound, live Greyhound feeds into yeah. it. Um, is that something that had been, you know, worked on deliberately by a Yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you go in there and God knows how much the bill was when he was buying TVs for this place because it's incredible. There's TVs absolutely everywhere. So I can imagine when things are going, you're going to have greyhounds, the racing from all different tracks going on the same time, probably football as well because we have BT Sport deal with that Fred. So there's going to be everything. You're not going to miss anything, put it that way. You're not going to have to change any channels on those screens because there'll be enough screens to show everything. So yeah, it's, it's really impressive. And um, in terms of race courses I've been to recently, I've not seen much like that. And that's just because it's absolutely brand spanking new. I was going to say, I think the massive advantage of this is it's a new project, really. Yeah, I know Great absolutely. Lees was here before, but you know, it's it's again, it's different to get. I came when it was Great Lees, and it, it looks totally different now. Too, yeah. Already, and there's the amount of money that's gone in, you can already see where it's gone. But as you said, with the new grandstand on the other side coming in, um, and some of the facilities that are going to be developed here, including the turf course, you know, it's going to be stand out in Europe, not mm -hmm. just Britain. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah hopefully in, in the world one. Yeah, it's got that much potential. It's all here, you've just got to build it first. And um, yeah, like you say, it's, it's tailor made for punters, that's what we're all about. Yeah. We give punters good value, good fun, a good time. And Do you think there'll be some special chance for bets eventually then? That's yeah, I mean, we're just possible. touching on, um, sort of with the tote, our kind of, um, our flagship bets are the multi leg bets, the jackpots and the scoop six. And yeah, we've certainly got something up our sleeve that we're working on, which is going to be solely here at Chelsea, Chelsea. and that's, that's awesome. really exciting stuff, I can't reveal too much, but we're um, probably going to have to look for now, but hopefully in a few months time we'll have that all set up and we can tell everyone about it, it's, it's really exciting stuff, big, big money, let me put it that way. Well, we'll make sure that we keep our eyes on it, and obviously we've launched our Chelmsford City website as well to complement great, your own. Yeah. So we'll keep promoting that, the racing here, and we're really looking forward to the next few years. Yeah, hopefully, and hopefully, fans will find us. That's the main thing. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you.